Hello and welcome. In this lecture, we will discuss the turbulence and the general characteristics of turbulent flow. At first, we will define the turbulence from an engineering viewpoint. A turbulent flow is an irregular motion of fluids when they flow past solid surfaces or even when neighboring streams of the same fluid flow over one another. It must be mentioned that there's no general definition for the turbulence, but this one which introduced by von Karman is a good enough. So, there are some common characteristics for turbulent flows. The high kinetic energy that overcomes the damping effect of a fluid viscosity. That can be conclu concluded from high Reynolds number. Reynolds number, as we know, is one of the most important parameters in studying flows, which is denoted by the abbreviation RE. It correlates the inertia force with viscous one, and the inertia force directly proportion to the kinetic energy. So as Reynolds number high, the inertia and kinetic energy is high. Reynolds number in internal flow, which is in pipes, must be greater than 4000s and in flow over a flat plate must be greater than 500,000. Therefore, it is the turbulent flow has a high kinetic energy. And from the common characteristics of the turbulent flows is the irregularity. And this is so obvious when we compare the turbulent flow with the lamina. The turbulent flow is disorganized, chaotic, and behave randomly. Also, the diffusivity where the turbulence flow enhances diffusion, which can be expressed as mixing a process. The turbulent diffusion is the transport of mass, heat, or momentum due to the random motion, which is extremely important for problems dealing with combustion as example. In addition, the time dependency. So the various quantities show a random variation with time and also with the space coordinates. So as it is shown here, the velocity varies unpredictably. This is one big property for turbulent flow. It is always unsteady. The last feature here is the rotationality. Thus, potential flow cannot be turbulent because it is by definition irrotational. So, why we study turbulence? Because turbulence is everywhere. If we look close enough from the small scales of candle smoke to the larger scales, as in the ocean currents or clouds motion. And because the fluid flow in industrial applications are almost turbulent. But there is a problem with the turbulence. As we know, the flow is divided to viscous and inviscid layers with different velocities. In turbulence, it is a chaotic of vortices and eddies that in turn generate more and more swirls, so on become too complicated to predict. Therefore, the problem of turbulence remains to this day the last unsolved problem of classical mathematical physics.